All right, so the next thing we're going to do is sharpen this. And the way of sharpening I like doing is Smart Sharpen. So I'm going to look at this. I'm going to go Filter, Sharpen, Smart Sharpen. And I want super contrasty, so I'm not really worried about noise. Noise is something that I can definitely work with. What I am looking at, though, is, is any other color variations that might not make sense. Um, there we go. Some more radius here. Yeah, I'm not worried about noise at all. Noise is good. Some might argue that noise is bad. I would say, well, noise gives you something to look at. I'm just playing around with this, seeing if I can get anything else. And I can also look over here to see how it looks. I like that, so I'm going to hit OK. Now, I'd probably argue that lighting, see how there's a blue tint on this? That might be hurtful. I, I kind of like it. But if you were to take this and turn it into a black and white image, You can go like this and look at that no color variation and then if you wanted a color variation on the character to make it thorough I can go like this make a new layer and set uh, the precedence now of saying well maybe this color is going to be blue so we can take blue put blue down put blue over the top of it and change it into something like maybe overlay or overlay with at least something turned down on it so he's a hint of blue but it's a universal all the way through blue and not something that the lighting attached to it so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to make it so it's a little blue and then i can have different characters i can have blue ones or red ones if i wanted to okay just just different stupid tricks in photoshop that might help you along along with taking this class you should have sufficient enough Photoshop skills to be able to pull this off. The problem is colleges don't teach this stuff. Colleges teach, oh, what is that? Graphic design Photoshop, which is way totally different. I mean, it's not even, not even close to relevant. I don't think, it, you know, there's sometimes I've used an alpha channel using my graphic design stuff, but, you know, very rarely do I, do I have students that go, oh, I know what an alpha channel is. Um, coming into my class, and then I have to teach them that too. All right, this is it. Now, what I want to do is clip out all of the color, and how I do that is hold command over the top of this one, and that will m grab onto those articles. And if I select, select inverse on that, I can now go to the top layer and hit delete on the keyboard. There I am, I have my blue-ish characters. All right, nice. So the idea here is to get this one onto the other one. So if I hold shift, I only need this character's arm. So I'm going to go like that and go edit, cut, edit, paste. Whoops. And the way to get around that is edit, copy, merged, edit, paste. There we go. So undo that a couple times and then you can get it to this. All right, now what I need to do is take this character down here and turn him into a square. I turn him into a square because it's easier to mount him on a, um, an actual image plane. Okay? And I can use the arrow keys to toggle this thing around until I get him within the center of the square and then image crop him. Awesome. So now I want this to be independent. So I'll probably go like this image. 
select, deselect, image or layer, merge down. There we go. So now I, he's independent of any weird overlay layers and I got two characters like this. Good. All right, now that you've done color correction and you've done everything else, uh, now it's time to start, chop, start chopping up these characters and that's in the next video.